welcome back to the watch list and next up is another top 10 player from the class of 2025 go by the name of nino nesbitt five eight point guard out of pickerington and we're picking um the brains of buckeye prep today as we don't see nino in any of the other consensus national recruiting rankings as far as national rankings go for Ohio kids like I said before that doesn't mean a kid can't play just because they're not being mentioned in these other ranking services some of those times it's availability recognition um, you know different people and scouts and coaches are at different places at different times so a lot of it's about availability and accessibility um, you know with some of these sites if you're a player that's maybe not able to get out there to these various showcases um, obviously those exposure um, sites aren't able and services aren't able to see you however being here in central ohio um i know the quality of ball that's being played in the brick league um, i know the people that put that on and a lot of the coaches that put teams in um and that league is full of teams and coaches that are very very dedicated and passionate about the game of basketball and it's good physical hard inner city hoops so no slouches coming out of there with that being said um nino nesbitt is building his reputation um here in central ohio um at the buckeye prep showcases and other showcases he's being able to get out to and he's performing well um according to uh, buckeye prep he's a solid floor general with good skill and pace of play can shoot it if left open and he has a high basketball iq um currently competing in the brick league and like i said that is a high quality league and in that first week he was able to put up 16 points um being named one of their MVP so hats off to Nino for that that is a tough league um, tough competition and definitely well earned reward so take a couple highlights in Nino and uh, for a look at his game as you see being considered to be a super shifty guard this is a couple years ago at the CP3 like I said I will be getting out to see these little guys um, I want to see them up close and personal may even be looking at hosting some type of all-star game getting just getting a facility for these little guys um, probably get a sponsor and just bring these guys in and you know have a super 16 game where I just take some of the watch lists players that we're taking a look at and you know we bring them all together and take a look at some of Ohio's future talent um, but anyways you do see he has good motor control very good touch at the basket floor vision kids able to dribble with his head up and that's what I'm liking to see about a lot of our guards um, they're able to dribble with their head up and see the floor and what's going on good job drawing the defense and he's so he is dribbling with a purpose he's not just dribbling to you know show off he is moving somewhere with the ball and he understands you know what play to make and that's always good to see. You don't want to see his highlights for kids just dribbling the dribble to show off. But you want to see him, as he said, he attacked the gap, got it to a player. So that player was able to have the edge off of his quick sweep and attack. So he's understanding attack lanes. He's understanding shooting where the help is coming from. Um, and that's all part of the basketball IQ that Buckeye Prep is emphasizing with this guy. So um, Nino, continue the great work. Um be able to talk to you and see you in the future and um, see if Nino was able to contribute and help out early on in his young high school career next season so looking forward to catching up with Nino checking him out at a couple of events we'll find out where Nino Nesbitt is going to be hooping at um, so we can bring you guys more from my guy all right y'all signing off watch list